Fish and chips is a hot dish of English origin, consisting of battered fish, commonly Atlantic cod or haddock, and deep fried chips. It is a common takeaway food. A common side dish is mushy peas. History Fish and chips became a stock meal among the working classes in the United Kingdom as a consequence of the rapid development of trawl fishing in the North Sea, and the development of railways which connected the ports to major industrial cities during the second half of the 19th century, which meant that fresh fish could be rapidly transported to the heavily populated areas. Deep-fried fish was first introduced into Britain during the 16th century by Jewish refugees from Portugal and Spain, and is derived from pescado frito. In 1860, the first fish and chip shop was opened in London by Joseph Mallon. Deep-fried chips as a dish may have first appeared in Britain in about the same period, the Oxford English Dictionary notes as its earliest usage of chips in this sense the mention in Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities, husky chips of potatoes, fried with some reluctant drops of oil. The modern fish and chip shop originated in the United Kingdom, although outlets selling fried food occurred commonly throughout Europe. Early fish and chip shops had only very basic facilities. Usually these consisted principally of a large cauldron of cooking fat, heated by a coal fire. During World War II fish and chips remained one of the few foods in the United Kingdom not subject to rationing. In the United Kingdom and Ireland, the Fish Labeling Regulations 2003 Enact Directive 2065 EC and generally means that fish must be sold with the particular commercial name or species named. So cod and chips now appears on menus rather than the more vague fish and chips. In the United Kingdom the Food Standards Agency guidance excludes caterers from this. But several local trading standards authorities and others do say it cannot be sold merely as fish and chips. England. The dish became popular in wider circles in London and southeast England in the middle of the 19th century, while in the north of England a trade in deep-fried chipped potatoes developed. The first chip shop stood on the present site of Oldham's Tommy Field Market. It remains unclear exactly when and where these two trades combined to become the fish and chip shop industry we know. A Jewish immigrant, Joseph Mallon opened the first recorded combined fish and chip shop in London in 1860 or in 1865. And Mr. Lees pioneered the concept in the north of England, in Moosley, in 1863. The concept of a fish restaurant was introduced by Samuel Isaacs who ran a thriving wholesale and retail fish business throughout London and the south of England in the latter part of the 19th century. Isaac's first restaurant opened in London in 1896 serving fish and chips, bread and butter, and tea for nine pence, and its popularity ensured a rapid expansion of the chain. The restaurants were carpeted, had weighted service, tablecloths, flowers, china and cutlery, and made the trappings of upmarket dining affordable to the working classes for the first time. They were located in Tottenham Court Road, St Pancras, The Strand, Oxton, Shoreditch, Brixton and other London districts, as well as Clacton, Brighton, Ramsgate, Margate and other seaside resorts in southern England. Menus were expanded in the early 20th century to include meat dishes and other variations as their popularity grew to a total of 30 restaurants. Sam Isaac's trademark was the phrase this is the place combined with a picture of the pond upon fish in question. A glimpse of the old Brighton restaurant at No. 1 Marine Parade can be seen in the background of Norman Wisdom's 1955 film One Good Turn just as Norman Pitchkeen runs onto the seafront. This is now the site of a Harry Ramsden's Fish and Chips restaurant. A blue plaque at Oldham's Tommy Field Market marks the first chips fried in Britain in 1860, and the origin of the fish and chip shop and fast food industries in Britain. Scotland Dundee City Council claims that, in the 1870s, the glory of British gastronomy, the chip, was first sold by Belgian immigrant Edward de Gernier in the Citya Euro unregistered trademark S. Green Market. In Edinburgh, a combination of gold star brown sauce and water or malt vinegar, known as sauce, or more specifically as chippy sauce, has great popularity. Ireland In Ireland, the first fish and chips were sold by an Italian immigrant, Giuseppe Savi, who mistakenly stepped off an America-bound ship at Cobb in County Cork in the 1880s and walked all the way to Dublin. 
he started by selling fish and chips outside Dublin pubs from a handcart. He then found a permanent spot in Great Brunswick Street. His wife Palma would ask customers you know de Cuesta, you know de Quella? This phrase entered the vernacular in Dublin as one and one, which is still a way of referring to fish and chips in the city. United States In the United States, the dish is most commonly sold as fish and chips, except in Wisconsin and other parts of the Upper Midwest, where this meal would be called a fish fry. The name fish and chips remains despite the fact that the word chips in the U.S. generally refers to what are called crisps in the U.K., composition, cooking. Traditional frying uses beef dripping or lard. However, vegetable oils, such as peanut oil now predominate. A minority of vendors in the north of England and Scotland and the majority of vendors in Northern Ireland still use dripping or lard, as it imparts a different flavor to the dish but it has the side effect of making the fried chips unsuitable for vegetarians and for adherents of certain faiths. Lard is used in some living industrial history museums, such as the Black Country Living Museum. Thickness British chips are usually thicker than American-style French fries sold by major multinational fast food chains, resulting in a lower fat content per portion. In their homes or in non-chain restaurants, People in or from the United States may eat a thick type of chip, more similar to the British variant, sometimes referred to as steak fries. How much cooking fat soaks into the potato depends on the surface area and how long they are cooked. Chips have a smaller surface area per unit weight than French fries, which means absorbing less oil in a given time. On the other hand, chips, being thicker, take longer to cook than fries. Batter UK chippies traditionally use a simple water and flour batter, adding a little sodium bicarbonate and a little vinegar to create lightness, as they create bubbles in the batter. Other recipes may use beer or milk batter, where these liquids are often substitutes for water. The carbon dioxide in the beer lends a lighter texture to the batter. Beer also results in an orange-brown color. A simple beer batter might consist of a 2 to 3 ratio of flour to beer by volume. The type of beer makes the batter taste different, some prefer lager whereas others use stout or bitter. Choice of fish In Britain and Ireland, cod and haddock appear most commonly as the fish used for fish and chips, but vendors also sell many other kinds of fish, especially other white fish, such as pollock or collie, plaice, skate, and ray, and hass or rock salmon. In Northern Ireland, cod Place or whiting appear most commonly in fish suppers Euro supper being Scottish and Northern Irish chip shop slang for a food item accompanied by chips. Suppliers in Devon and Cornwall regularly offer pollock and collie as cheap alternatives to haddock due to their regular availability in a common catch. In Australia, reef cod and rock cod, barramundi or flake, or snapper are commonly used. From the early 21st century, Farmed bass imported from Vietnam and hokey have become common in Australian fish and chip shops. Other types of fish are also used based on regional availability. In New Zealand, snapper was originally the preferred species for battered fillets in the North Island. As catches for this fish declined, it was replaced by hokey, shark and tarakai. Blue gunnard and blue cod predominate in South Island fish and chips. In the United States, the type of fish use depends on availability in a given region. Some common types are cod, halibut, flounder, tilapia or, in New England, Atlantic cod or haddock. Salmon is growing common on the west coast, while freshwater catfish is most commonly used in the southeast. Accompaniments In chip shops in the United Kingdom and Ireland, salt and vinegar is traditionally sprinkled over fish and chips at the time it is served. Suppliers use malt vinegar, onion vinegar, or the cheaper non-brewed condiment. In Britain a portion of mushy peas is a popular side dish as are a range of pickles that typically include gherkins, onions and eggs. In table service restaurants and pubs, the dish is usually served with a slice of lemon for squeezing over the fish and without any sauces or condiments, with salt, vinegar and sauces available at the customer's leisure. In Ireland, Wales and Northern England, most takeaways serve warm portions of side sauces such as curry sauce, gravy or mushy peas. The sauces are usually poured over the chips. In some areas, 
This dish without fish is referred to as wet chips. Other fried products include scraps, originally a byproduct of fish frying. Still popular in northern England, they were given as treats to the children of customers. Portions prepared and sold today consist of loose blobs of batter, deep fried to a crunchy golden crisp and a cooking fat. The very popular potato scallop or potato cake consists of slices of potato dipped in fish batter and deep fried until golden brown. These are often accompanied for dipping by the warm sauces listed above. In Edinburgh and the Lothian salt and sauce is the normal accompaniment traditionally sprinkled over fish and chips or almost anything else bought from the fish and chips shops. The watery sauce is a mixture of malt vinegar or non-brewed condiment and a water and rowets or gold star bran brown sauce and it is mixed and bottled a euro often in an old glass fizzy drink bottle with a hole pierced in the screw cup a euro by each fish and chip shop to their own secret recipe. In Australia and New Zealand, plain salt is usually sprinkled over fish and chips just before serving. Some customers may choose to salt food themselves, given current public health concerns about salt intake. Another popular condiment is tomato sauce. Tartar sauce is also very popular for the fish. Both tomato and tartar sauce are usually sold in small plastic tubs on the shop counter. Complimentary slices of lemon are sometimes served with a dish or takeaway pack, although many New Zealanders grow lemons at home. Less commonly, following British and Irish traditions, malt vinegar is the condiment of choice of some Australasian fish and chip lovers. In New Zealand, most fish and chip shops now offer a choice between battered and crumbed fish, and battered hot dogs, battered potato fritters and other deep-fried novelties are also usually available. In Canada, fish and chips may be served with the traditional salt and vinegar, but a lemon wedge and tartar sauce is often the accompaniment found in table service restaurants. Coleslaw of both the vinegared or creamy variety is often interchangeably served as a side. In the United States, most restaurants serve fish and chips with tartar sauce, ketchup, and coleslaw, although more malt vinegar also is sometimes offered, especially at UK-themed pubs. Vendors In the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, Canada, New Zealand and South Africa, fish and chips usually sell through independent restaurants and takeaways known as fish and chip shops. Outlets range from small affairs to chain restaurants. Locally owned seafood restaurants are also popular in many local markets. Mobile chip vans serve to cater for temporary occasions. In Canada, the outlets may be referred to as chip wagons. In the United Kingdom some shops have amusing names, such as Assault and Battery, The Codefather, The Frying Scotsman, Oh My God, and Frying Nemo in countries such as New Zealand and Australia. Fish and chip vendors are a popular business and source of income among the Asian community, particularly Chinese migrants. In Ireland, the majority of traditional vendors are migrants or the descendants of migrants from southern Italy. A trade organization exists to represent this tradition. Fish and chips is a popular lunch meal eaten by families traveling to seaside resorts for day trips who do not bring their own picnic meals. Fish and chip outlets sell roughly 25% of all the white fish consumed in the United Kingdom, and 10% of all potatoes. The existence of numerous competitions and awards for best fish and chip shop testifies to the recognized status of this type of outlet in popular culture. Fish and chip shops traditionally wrapped their product in newspaper, or with an inner layer of white paper and an outer layer of newspaper or blank newsprint though the use of newspaper for wrapping has almost ceased on grounds of hygiene. Nowadays, establishments usually use food quality wrapping paper, occasionally printed on the outside to emulate newspaper. The British National Federation of Fish Friars was founded in 1913. It promotes fish and chips and offers training courses. A previous world record for the largest serving of fish and chips was held by Gadolito's Seafood Market in New Ports. New York. This 2004 record was broken by Yorkshire pub Wensleydale Heifer in July 2011. An attempt to break this record was made by Doncaster Fish and Chip Shop Scoesby Fisheries in August 2012, which served 33 pounds of battered cod alongside 64 pounds of chips. Cultural Impact The long-standing Roman Catholic tradition of not eating meat on Fridays, 
especially during Lent, and of substituting fish for other types of meat on that day, continues to influence habits even in predominantly Protestant, Anglican, semi-secular and secular societies. Friday night remains a traditional occasion for eating fish and chips. And many cafeterias and similar establishments, while varying their menus on other days of the week, habitually offer fish and chips every Friday. In Australia and New Zealand, the words fish and chips are often used to highlight the difference in each country's short high vowel sound, e. Australian English has a higher fourth sound, i, close to the y in happy and city, while New Zealand English has a lower backward sound, e, a slightly higher version of the a in about and comma. Hence many people from other dialects here in Australian say fish and chips, and a New Zealander say fush and chops for fish and chips. Environment In the UK, waste oil from fish and chip shops has become a useful source of biodiesel. German biodiesel company Petrotec have outlined plans to produce biodiesel in the UK from waste oil from the British fish and chip industry. See also References Bibliography, Gerald Priestland Frying Tonight, The Saga of Fish and Chips Gentry Books ISBN A0-85614-014-7 Retrieved April 11, 2012 Walton, John K. Fish and Chips and the British Working Class, 1870-1940 Continuum International Publishing Group ISBN 9780718521202 External links, Top UK Dish Hooked French First BBC News colon Fish and Chips Invented in France Retrieved May 27, 2008, My Place or Yours? Article from The Guardian detailing some chippy terminology Retrieved May 27, 2008, Far-Flung Fish and Chips, Historical Article, Fish and Chips The Sea Fish Industry Authority's Views Retrieved May 27, 2008 BBC Two Ching He Huang Style Fish and Chips, National Federation of Fish Friars, the UK Industry Body for Fish and Chip Shops.